Today we've got Mrs Ozzy Outdoors with us again. Hi everyone. And I uh, found these at the shop. Um, they look weird. It's a sumo mandarin. Um, they just look very weird to me. Mm. The size of them, like our mandarins normally a quarter that size here. Maybe, yeah. you know, half if you get a big one, half that size. These just these are massive for a mandarin mm. in Australia. Um, yeah, we're just gonna see what it's like, see what it tastes like. They're a lot wrinklier too, and their stems are quite a lot thicker than regular mandarins. True, they are. Yes, um, it says on it Sumo Citrus, Australian seedless. So well, at least it's seedless. Hopefully, mm. let's um crack it open and see what it's like, eh? Okay, it's very thick skin. Mm, like, that's really thick for a mandarin. Yeah, it peels pretty easily though. Sort of. Quite a bit of pith too. Okay, the top peels easily, it gets a bit harder towards the bottom. Is it because it of the connection of the skin to the fruit or is it the thickness of the skin that's making it difficult? Uh, it's connected very well. It's very strong. I can smell that from here. Mm. Um, it's still a pretty big mandarin. Mm. Weird shape. I'll give some to you. Thank you. And, uh, it comes apart easily. I'll go for the bigger bit here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like mandarin. It smells very strong. Yeah. Surprisingly strong, actually. It is. In, like in my experience, the larger the fruit or the vegetable, the less potency they hold. Yeah. Um, let's give it a try. Yeah. Not very well. Not very strong, the flavour. Mm. Very, very tough for a mandarin. Mm. Like the, the, I don't know what do you call it, skin. Mm. I, I think mean, ultimately though it tastes like mandarin. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, not a strong flavour. It's not really overly sweet. Mm. It's got a slight bit of tang to it. I think more it's a novelty sort of thing. Or a size thing. I think depending on the on the price point, it could be worth buying them. They are twice the price of normal mandarins at the moment. They're also twice the size though, so... If you're a two mandarin person, then maybe they may be worth it for convenience. It may be convenience, but the skins are thick too, so I think in the long run, it works out to be an expensive mandarin. Mm. Um, maybe the shape and size, you know, as a novelty, the kids might like it, take one to school or something like that. Mm. Other than that, I'd just stick with a normal mandarin. Mm. Yeah. I agree. Cool. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, like and subscribe.